with the Stevenson thing, I am curious where we're going with this because throughout camp, he has been one of the loudest guys on the defensive side. And it seems like he followed Brisker and Gordon's lead early on in camp. And now he's he's in the middle of everything. The Chase Claypool thing, everybody's going to go after Chase because he's this hothead, right? He has that reputation. But I've always said from the start, the DBs have kind of started it with the, with the talking. And now Tyreek Stevenson's doing it to other teams. I like that bravado, but he was, you know, Kyler Gordon was asked, you know, is there a, is there a line? Yeah. And he said there <laughs> is. Look, I'm, maybe I'm just old school Allen Williams type here. But keep it between the lines. Don't commit penalties. You're a rookie. You don't need to be doing a ton of talking. The Chase Claypool incident with Tyreek Stevenson, I was actually, the actual incident and and Tyreek falling and complaining to the referee, I was on Claypool's side on that. Like, hey, you know, it's going to be tough out here. You're going to get knocked down. It was OPI. They called it. I understand. But but as a as a rookie, you don't need to be talking to the ref there. Just just play just play through the play. Now 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 Claypool went way over the top after he complained and kept it going on the whole practice. But I I I don't want to make it out like I don't like Tyreek Stevenson because I do. But I do think he needs to button it up a little bit. Well, my issue is the penalty. Yeah, and, and, and it's I, a penalty. And I was talking to Jason Leisure over there on the sideline, and his point was just like, he's worried that Tyreek Stevenson is going to be baited into a penalty come week one in one of these moments. And I could see that being a fear. So they do have to reel it in a little bit, but I personally like what Tyreek Stevenson, his confidence, his attitude, and yes. the way he's responded to adversity, whether it's a bad rep, whether it's the first play of that preseason game on Saturday where he lost his guy in coverage, which after going back and seeing the All-22 was definitely on him. Um, and he played great after that. So there's a lot to like there. Just you got to back it up.